Now, one of the first ways that people will often discover to create output with Windows PowerShell is the write host commandlet um, that simply writes text directly to the screen. Now, it has a neat thing. Because it's writing to the screen, you can specify colors for the foreground and background, so you can get some really mind-eye bleeding output. The problem is that write host writes directly to the screen. It doesn't write to the pipeline, which is where PowerShell wants output to go. Now, I'll have folks tell me, well, you know, I want to use write host because I want my script to display some step-by-step -step information as it goes, so I can kind of see what it's doing. Write host is not the right way to do that. In fact, if you're using write host, odds are you're doing it wrong. The only time you probably want to use write host is when you need to display some screen where you really want to make use of alternate colors, and human eyeballs are the only thing that will ever consume that information. You're never going to want it in a CSV file, format it as a table. In other words, it's not the output of your script, it's just some human display. Now, it's not even the right way to create a help display for a script. There's something called comment-based help, which we'll look at later. That's the right way to do that. So, this is what write host is and what it can do, and just keep in mind that it's probably not the right thing to use, except in very limited circumstances.